promised that I would be doing uh, a fitness video or at least a video a day and I'm keeping my promise just like I'm keeping my promise to stop eating delicious Shake Shack uh, every Tuesdays and Thursdays so that I can fit into my bikinis on my vacation. So there's a couple things that I'm using to uh, get back into my fitness grind um, and I realize I got to do it slowly because I'm really really out of shape. So the first thing that I did was that I finally joined uh, one of those um, fitness band groups, you know, like the ones that they have, like uh, Nike Plus, um, Jawbone, and uh, the one I ended up buying is the Fitbit. I think this is the one. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I can't even remember, and I'll put probably put it in the description. But I decided to get a Fitbit. It definitely. Uh, kind of forces you to get active um it's already set at having making sure that you get 10,000 steps a day which is the recommended a, a number of steps that you're supposed to get and it has like cute little function where if you press it you can see how many dots um which represent uh I think about uh 2,000 steps each so you know where you are during the day so far I have somewhere around 8,000 steps because uh, I really tried to to do some walking today and actually walked from my from my car to uh, my classroom this morning and walked back and then was walking around the supermarket and walking around like crazy uh, during the morning when I was getting dressed so that I can get those extra steps in uh, and right now I'm about to go and take a walk jog into my wristband my Fitbit wristband um, vibrates and tells me that I'm at 10,000 steps uh, and then I'll probably do some more workouts later. So that's one thing that I'm using. Another thing that I've also found really helpful is also taking a diet supplement. So the one I'm using is Weight Loss 4. Uh, before I used Raspberry Ketones, which is really good at burning calories. Uh, this one has green coffee bean extract, uh, which helps with your metabolism. So the same thing if you drink green tea. That also is supposed to be very good for your metabolism. It really does burn it. I know in uh, TMI here, when I drink green tea, it makes me have to go to the bathroom to do number two, um, which you need to do to get all that uh, stuff out of your system. So, and it also helps with your hunger too. So uh, green tea and uh, black tea and all these other things with caffeine in it. Um, they don't have any calories as long as you don't have any sugar and uh, they're good for the metabolism and uh, keeping you full also just don't drink too much or you'll be like super jittery so uh, as I was saying this one has green coffee bean extract raspberry ketones uh, garnacea cambogia this is new because I when I took it before I didn't have that and it has cayenne pepper extract which is also good at burning fat so you take these like three times a day with with a meal and it really helps uh, get your body moving in the right direction especially your metabolism um, and suppressing some of your hunger another thing that I'm using also uh, is the and this is my electronic version of it is the book uh, the super shred diet by dr. Ian Smith um, I remember when I started grad school I gained a lot of weight so I did his first book which was the fat smash diet and it worked really well for me and I kept the weight off for a while and then when um, he came up with another one, another one which was the super fat smash I've used that uh, I used it uh, I've been using it before I, I go on vacations I used it last year uh, to get in tip-top shape for um, for my vacation uh, I think it's a really great book and diet because you actually get to eat you eat uh, like four small meals during the day and then it tells you how much exercise to do um, and he also allows snacks uh, with this one it's also in the same kind of format um, he promises that you what is it you can lose about 20 pounds in four weeks uh, I believe that I haven't been following it completely to the letter because uh, I just started it without even getting all the food so I had to kind of um, improvise and sometimes I uh, the timing of when I eat is kind of off so I don't want to eat really late at night so I'll eat just one uh, big meal for the last meal of what we're supposed to so um, and I think it's also okay because it gets you into the way of eating healthy so you don't necessarily have to follow it completely and maybe if I did I would you know probably lose 20 pounds in four weeks um, but I also don't like to starve because I like to eat um, and it's not a starvation diet so I, let me not say that but um, 
it does get you in that right way to start off your your fitness and healthy uh, eating journey um so these are some of the things that i'm using i have my headband on don't mind me wearing full makeup uh, and got workout clothes because I just came from work and I wanted to go for that walk like I was talking about so um, So that I don't have an excuse for not going it's nice outside finally in New England not super cold and dreary and raining So I'm gonna go and take advantage of that and I hope I can uh, help anybody out there I mean, I'm not an expert, but um, I'm just a normal person trying to just lose some some extra poundages <laughs> I mean, I use that word extra pounds on, um, you know, just extra pounds for the summer, summer months. And um, so I hope you'll join me. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, please subscribe, like it, dislike it, do something. Just uh, let me know if you are on track or on track with me. So, okay. See you guys.